Good evening. I'm Lauren, and I just got scammed. So, let's back up and discuss how this happened. I received a phone call this evening on my cellular number, and I was skeptical about the individuals, you know, possibly calling me, and I, I thought, well, you know, they started verifying, or, you know, information, and, you know, they uh, they verified the last four of my ICCID SIM card number, and that's kind of when I knew that I thought that it could have been Verizon. They were they actually had the capability to send an authorization through the My Verizon app to access my account. Then they added a line and tried to get a, another phone to my address. Um, yeah, I don't need another phone. I've got two phones already and then another one on the account. That is enough. I have two phones already. So anyway... So they added a new line, added, I guess, requested some sort of Samsung phone. Um, I guess the scheme or the thought here was, is they were going to try to intercept it <clears throat> in in transport because it was going to my address, the way I understand it from the Verizon rep that talked to me. It was going to my address. But here's the here's the thing: if you can, if I can get scammed, you can get scammed. And don't tell me that, you know, it can't happen to me because they knew information. They knew the ICCID phone number or, or uh, info for all three lines, the last four, and was able to verify that before I hit in the app to accept the the agent into my phone. Now. Going forward, I am not going to believe any of those phone calls at all. They can come from the Verizon phone number, and I am still not going to believe it until I call back. There's a lot of scamming going on. There's a lot of hacking going on there's a lot of information getting getting taken you know you look at the AT&T recent attack you know uh i guess data leak and things like that uh it wouldn't surprise me if all carriers are in on that data leak and we just don't know it because the data they had was enough to me to me was enough I felt like it could have been my provider reaching out to me. They had my Verizon SIM card information. And by the way, Verizon, if you're watching this, I want new SIM cards for all my phones. Because if they know my SIM card information, it's hard telling what they could do with that data. It's always those of us that are like disabled or, you know, use our phones on a daily basis for medical purposes and, you know, handling all types of other problems that are the targets for these individuals. And I got scammed tonight. The order got placed, the order got canceled, my account got wiped, I had to restart over with a new account. This time, I'm using generated passwords. That's right. I'm using a password generator. I'm not going to say from what company. I'm not going to say from what password management system I decided to go with. But it's going to be a generated password this time. It's going to be much harder to gain access to my Verizon account. 
and create orders. And uh, I don't know. Um, you know, aside from biometrics, I don't know of anything else, you know, that's going to solve this. And I think that's going to be the next push and is to use biometrics to identify. And then we're going to have biometric data stolen out there in the, in the public and altered and tweaked and what have you. That's going to be the next thing. Have a good night.